As kids, we all remember how tough it can be to be critiqued. And it's usually not a big problem until we buy into that critique. My experience is that it's easy to spot when someone tackles our personal self-worth head-on. With a strong enough constitution, we can usually move through that. The defense mechanism for this seems to be strong self-worth. But what and who establishes that personal shield? It's my belief that our history or experiences right up to this point develop that, and it becomes part of our knower-judger, part of our life script. Our knower-judger positions us in exactly the place all of our influencers have put us. I want to challenge you to validate every limiting belief that you're burdened with. Pick one and try to recall where you first established that self-truth. What was going on? Who was in the room? Who or what situation was convincing you of your limitation? Then ask if the situation is the same right now, today, and challenge the validity of that belief. It's your reality. You created it, and I believe you can change it. I'm lazy. Who says? Is it still valid? I have to be responsible for my whole family. Who says? Really? I'm powerless. Who says? When did you make that decision? If I'm successful, I won't have any time for myself. Who says? Nobody cares about me. Who says? Who says? Who says? My experience is that we learn our belief systems. Considering oneself too lazy or too fat or too insert judgment here is a decision you made from some experiences you had a long time ago and probably from people who no longer have impact in your life. You may want to take a moment and challenge the validity of those decisions. People overcome these messages all the time. That's reality. Give me one good reason you can't overcome yours. Stephen Hawking exhibited the symptoms of ALS at around 20 years of age. To most of the world, that would be a slow, agonizing death sentence. That's how the rest of the world has internalized the information anyway. But who says? He just turned 71. Sarah Reinerston, at age 7, lost her left leg to disease. Can you imagine the messages she was receiving from the two-legged world? Yet at age 34, she won an Ironman competition outright. Who said she couldn't? And how about all the pleasantly plump people with the message that you can't be successful or attractive or have any fun if you're fat? Rebel Wilson? Chris Christie? John Goodman? Who says? At any given time, I don't think we have an accurate assessment of our own personal worth. I think it's possible to feel terribly undervalued and by doing so, perform to that standard. It can keep us from achieving, succeeding, even being happy. So when you find your self-talk suggesting you should be more responsible, thinner, smarter, prettier, or work harder, run faster, stay later, ask yourself, who says? Figure out who taught you that rule and whether it still works for you and where you want to go, and validate or possibly invalidate it. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity. Mm -hmm.